Hi YouTube, it's Cece and I'm back. So for today, I'm going to talk to you guys about protective styling. Before we get started and get into talking about that, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up because I know you're just going to love it. And also, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Alrighty guys, so let's get right on into this. Protective hairstyling has a lot of thoughts that come to your mind when you hear those words. I mean, at least it does for me. For me, for the longest, it was like weave or wigs, but that's not really what I'm talking about. Although that is way a way to protectively keep your hair. I'm more so talking about bedtime protection. Um, some main ways to keep your hair protected is to not leave it like this. I actually left my hair like this last night. I went out and I hung out and then I came home and I just popped on my satin bonnet and went to bed. Not good. Although a satin bonnet is the way to go if you do have a night where you just, you leave it all like this and you just go to bed. Um, do wear a satin bonnet. That's another way. Or have a satin pillowcase. That way your hair is not being torn out and on rough material. Um, so that is one way to protect your hair as well. But the main thing I'm advising is keep your hair tied up, guys. Um, don't go to sleep with your hair in a pineapple. It's not good for it. I mean, you're sleeping and as you're tossing and turning, your hair is like, you know, it's like this the whole time and you're just moving and it's like, yeah, you know. And um, so don't go to sleep with your hair like that. Don't go to sleep with your hair like this. It's, it's not good for your hair. Although, thankfully, I've just done my hair and so it's not like super bad, but I advise keeping it twisted up. That's how I had it before I um, took it out to go hang out. I had it all twisted up. Just, you know, some big twists. They can be big or small. It doesn't have to be beautiful or anything like that. It's just for protection. Then the next day you can take it out and you can style it. I know this process can be very time consuming. That's probably why I, you know, floundered from here to there, you know, every now and then I'm just like, the. I don't feel like it. And I'm just like, ah, I just gotta go to sleep. But guys, it's important. You know, we're, we're striving for longer, healthier hair. You know, even if you want to keep your hair short, you want it to be healthy. So just keep your hair tied up. And I think that goes for any hair type. I'm mainly 4C, um, 5A, which is not normally talked about on the hair charts. But if it, if you don't know what the hair chart's like, just Google it or YouTube it or Instagram it. It's pretty much on everything. And you'll get a gist of what normally is, um, what the hair types are. But I think it's important to protectively style your hair regardless of if you have type 1 hair or 5 and above, you know, that people don't even talk about, you know, 4C and all those things. I can truly say my hair is healthier due to rice water, but also to keeping it tied down you know you can do twists to the scalp you can do braids you can you can do plaits you can do all kinds of different things but it's important to keep it you know just tied down and in a healthy way so just keep it tied down guys um twist it keep it protected you don't want your hair being torn out because of tossing and turning you know it keeps it healthy it's important you know you guys are gonna love it later when your hair is grown inches that's a main tip to getting it to, to have that growth that we're desiring or looking forward to. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's little message. Don't forget, guys, keep your hair in a healthy, protective style. Um, twists or braids or plaits, something easy. They can be big. They can be small. Whatever you're feeling. But do keep your hair in a protective style before bed. Alrighty, guys. This is Cece, and I really hope you guys loved it. Um, again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and please comment below what you think and what your favorite protective hairstyle is.